Yep. You didn't like the boat too? No. No boat Holy <laughs> Look at that everybody. This is a big fish. Hopefully we get to show you. Oh my days! I told you it was a big fish everybody. G'day legends, welcome back to another video. Thanks so much for joining us and we are going to get straight into that crazy action that you just saw. But first I thought I'd just give you a really really quick uh, background to how we hook this fish and what is happening. Now if you saw my last video, we were out having a pretty good snapper session and this fish was right at the end of that. So just as we were about to leave, this monster fish just swam up behind the boat and we could not believe it. I turned the cameras on as quick as I could, but they uh, started filming just as the fish had grabbed my bait, so that's where the video is about to start from. Pretty much, I ran down the back, threw a pilchard overboard to keep that fish around the boat, and then I had a big dead yakka that I'd been putting out live all morning, um, and it had died in a bucket but was still on the hooks, and that's what I used. I dipped it over the side. We're picking up just as the fish has grabbed my bait, sitting right under the boat, and if you look carefully, my leader knot is not even in the water. So yeah, enjoy this video and uh, I'll talk to you at the end. Put it in his mouth. Hang on. He's got it. Hang on. He swallowed it. Got the drag right? Yep. Yep. Got the drag right? Yep. Yep. We're on. Yeah. We're good. We just hooked a massive big cobia, guys. <laughs> We're just sitting here, he comes swimming past the boat. We'll drop down the yakka that he He's has. He's gonna be green as all. Well. So this is um, 40 pound gear we've got him on, but he is a big fish. We'll see how we go. Oh, he's shaking his head like no tomorrow. Yeah. He's a big fish, Will. Yeah. He is a giant. Get everything in. Take it easy on it. Yeah. Don't try and rest yeah. your own. Yeah. He's going to be a big fire. He is a big fish. Yeah. Just take your time. Yeah. He is a big fish. He is a big, big fish. You just start that motor when you can in case we need to manoeuvre the boat. It's on. Yeah. We're a long way from that, but I'll just have it handy. Yeah. Just start it. Just don't move anywhere yet. Just don't try and bust it. Yeah, I know. I've got. I've loosened the drag a tiny bit. Yeah. He is a big fish. I've got him hooked well. I think he yeah, sucked, he he sucked, sucked both right. those hooks yeah. in. I let him eat it. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. I don't want him to go down too far, you know? Yeah. Just don't try and bully him. Yeah, I know. What are you doing? Looking for a rock thing. No, no, I got it. It's fine. I'm fine. I can see him. I got colour. Yeah. You're not done yet. Yeah, I know that, but... He's a big fish. <laughs> he's a big fish. He's a donk. <laughs> he's he's a really like a big cobia guy. He's a metre 30 cobe. Pretty deep, everyone. Here's a big fish. Holy Jesus! Yeah, I'm coming around. Move. <coughs> That's a giant cobay. Yeah. Eh? Just take your time. Luke. Yeah. Oh, he's not far here, actually. Just get that gaff ready. He's coming up. Yeah, I know. Okay. Just get him in the body, like yeah. just oh. in the. Oh, he didn't like the boat too. No. No good. Holy shit. Look at that, everybody. Oh, yeah. Just oh. in the. Oh, he didn't like the boat too. No. 
smell good. Then. Holy shit. Look at that, everybody. <sighs> he was a meter away from the boat and now probably 30 again. <laughs> right, take your time. Yeah, I know. I know. No, just leave it, just in case. He's still green after that. You can say that again. He's coming around. Make sure you get him away from that motor. Yeah, I know. He's a big fish. At least we've seen him. <laughs> I don't see him anymore. He took that run. Yeah, he disappeared from colour quite quick, didn't he? When he did that. No. Okay. Oh, there he is, I think. Yeah, just. Yeah, I just got cold. Yeah, I see him. still deep. Just go around to your cold. right. Tiniest bit. Sorry. Oh no, we're right, we're right. He's coming this way. Will's got this on 40 pound braid and 60 pound um, trace and it's testing it to the limit. This is a big fish. Hopefully we get to show you. been fishing with a live yakka earlier on but we haven't had we hadn't had it out for probably an hour and a half and the yakka had died but it was still still hooked on this line so the cave the cave under the yeah. oh. we'll just dropped it over the side and it just come up and swallowed it down in the past oh my back's up in the past stop whinging <laughs> we've had cobia swim around the boat and they won't touch anything with the line in it this thing just came up and sucked it dead He's coming. I'm going to it anywhere I can. Yeah, and this just should the gaff should go in pretty easy because it's heavy fish, but I'm just easing him. Yeah. Get him in the boat and then worry about it. Yeah. Just take it easy. Yeah. First day we'll use this rod and reel, brand new reel, pen slammer. This will be the first fish that's caught if we can get it. What type of rod is it, Will? Daiwa Saltiga. Oh, I got colour. Got colour. Watch the motor. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. The rod and reel 
Down here at the moment, everyone. He's a big fish. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get him and show you. Got an FG knot here from um, Bray to Leader. Come up. Not that that means anything with this fella. I'm just going to take it easy with him because if I annoy him, that's when he's just going to go crazy. I'm just going to ease him up. Oh, that is a monster cove. Yeah, it's a monster. Look at the size of it down there. I know. It's massive, mate. It's massive. It's coming around. Quite dirty these caves, they just don't give up. You never got them until they're in the boat. He'll play up even when we get him beside the boat, he'll play up. Never alone when I stick a gap in him. If we get that far. Maybe um I think we're good with Yeah. He's getting tired, I'm getting tired, but yeah. he is too. Slowly edging him up at the moment. Both times he's had a look at the boat, he's just taken off again. Oh, where are you going, Cobia? There he goes again. Just right down. He's, he's out here now. Yeah, 
there he is. Biggest fish Will's ever hooked, that's for sure. Ah, uh, apart from a male one. This is a big fish. Where's he going? Everywhere, anywhere at once. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> He's in it for the long haul. Yes. You just gotta keep concentrating. Yep. Gain one a inch, lose two. A little bit back. Here he goes again. He's getting tired, everyone. I'm trying to think. I feel I'm pretty fresh. <sighs> he does not like the boat. He's about two or three meters down there, everyone. You'll probably see on Will's head down there. Deep again. I think he's getting tired. Slowly. Until he gets a gaff in his head. Good fish. Oh, well, <laughs> stupid thing, eating a dead yakka. Wow. Carnster, if you're watching, I don't know how you catch these on your kayak. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you guys in a second. We're gonna hold this thing up, show you first. Well done, we're out of here. Holy Jesus. Oh, here's another one. Just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I actually thought it was. Because you know what? I was just about to look around. <laughs> oh. I'll show you the fish in a second, I promise. This reel, I won that in a competition on Instagram from uh, Pure Fishing Australia or, or Penn, sorry, doing a giveaway. And they, they chose three winners and somehow I won. And I was stoked loaded it with 40 pound braid this rod that's another thing i want to talk about this rod is a diver soul tiger absolutely amazing rod actually made for jigging but you can use live baits with it as you just saw i got this from my friend way from school um he's one of the nicest guys i know he was nice enough to give me some of his old fishing gear that he was getting rid of and way that one's for you thanks very much mate that's unreal wow 
All right, we'll hold this thing up and show you. Might take two of us. Oh, oh physically. Oh. Hang on. That is a monster. Oh. Hang on, just give me a sec. Oh my god! <laughs> Is it all in? Yeah. Alright, put that in there. We're going home. We've got to get home, get it on ice. It's getting late in the morning anyway, so we're going to go wash up. And we'll obviously show you more of the fish, filleting, all that sort of stuff. That's an unreal fish. Um, can barely lift it. I want to try and get a weight on it. So yeah, we're going to get out of here. Get that all sorted, get ice on it, all that sort of stuff. So we'll see you back on land. Woo! Hold on, Dad. Take me home, Willie. Don't spare the horses. All right, so we just got back and filleted those snapper. Now we're gonna do this thing. We thought we'd chuck it on the brag mat. And this is the first fish we've got that is bigger than the brag mat. 142 centimeters. That is an absolute cracker. Come get a look at this. So it goes to 140 and it's two or three centimeters past and it's that heavy we just can barely even lift it so anyway we'll get a couple of photos with me and dad and then we'll get it on the table and try and fill it that's in its mouth guys so you can see where that hook is, that's the top one. The second one is even further down, can't even see it. Well, you've seen how big it is and how hard it went. So now we're gonna fillet it. It's gonna be a bit tough, so we're gonna help each other out. What a crack of fish, let's get this filleted. Yeah. All you can do is do that and then just work your way along. So, just started, but look how white that is already. That is absolutely unreal. I'll show you when we get it off. We're just going along the backbone at the moment. A lot harder than it looks when they're so slimy and big and heavy. You can't exactly manhandle it like a whiting, that's for sure. Alright, so Cobia are known to be a massive garbage guts and we can feel his stomach is absolutely full here of all sorts of stuff by the feel of it, something hard. A few fish, so we're going to cut it open. They always seem to have just the most random stuff, the absolute guts. There we go. Probably gonna smell. I'd say so. Crab. Yes, yeah, crab. They are crab eaters. A lot of crab. A lot of crab. Three spot crab. Yep. At least one, probably more. There's a lot happening up in there. Oh, look at this. That's your yakka you called. Oh, it is too. It's got my hooks. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I might get my hook back. Oh, no. No, well, that's my yakka. Look, just hole in the stomach. Now I've got this all over the thing. But anyway, there's a couple of crabs in there, I think. Oh, there's more down the bottom here. Anyway, we're going to clean that up and get onto the other side. But look at that. Insane. That's a couple of crabs there. Ugh. We were just digging through a little bit and that popped out. An eel. So they eat everything. We're not going to dig through everything there. We're just going to chuck it and get onto the other side, but if you dug through, you'd find heaps of stuff, I reckon. There's all sorts of things. That's one crab, at least two crabs. He's been having a crustacean feast. They love crabs, the old cobia, that's for sure. Anyway, we're gonna wash that off and keep moving. We and why 
white that is. Just thick chunks of white, juicy meat. Beautiful. All right, well that brings us to the end of the video. If you've watched this far, you're an absolute legend and I really appreciate that. So that was a crazy fight, crazy fish. As I said, the biggest fish that I've ever landed apart from a marlin. So uh, that's definitely something to remember. Once again, stay tuned to the next video. There's plenty more to come. Um, hopefully more big fish like this in the future. And uh, yeah, make sure you like, comment, and make sure you subscribe with that notification bell on. All right, until next time, tight lines.